Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me for this segment, we have Lisa Uchsnyder, CEO of NASDAQ Listed Integral Ad Science, which offers data and solutions to establish a safer, more effective advertising ecosystem. Lisa, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Hi, Jill. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. And tell us more about Integral Ad Science and the types of solutions it provides. Sure, Integral Ad Science or IES, we're a leading digital media quality company. And I'm CEO of IES. I joined three and a half years ago. And basically, what we do is we work very closely with marketers and publishers, ensuring that when marketers buy digital advertising, wherever on the digital ecosystem, that it's high quality media. I'll give you an example. Let's say Nestle. Nestle is one of our global strategic accounts. And if Nestle runs, let's say a 15 second video ad on YouTube, IES's solutions, we verify that that Nestle ad was viewed. It was viewed by a human and not a bot. There was no fraudulent activity and that the Nestle ad ran adjacent to brand safe and brand suitable uh, content. Tell us more about the partnership with TikTok and expanding brand safety. Sure. So when you take a look at our four growth levers at IES, it's programmatic, in particular, contextual targeting, connected TV, social platforms, and also international expansion. Social platforms, I like to say it's early innings of a long game. There's so much opportunity for players like IAS in social platforms. TikTok last year declared they want to be the most transparent social platform globally. And what they did is they opened up their live feed to IAS and a few other players to build a classification technology within the live feed of TikTok. So we built that tech last year. It's 100% machine learning. And we are classifying video, image, audio, and text within TikTok's live stream. We're currently running it. We just expanded it to three more markets. So six markets globally, US, UK, France, Germany, Canada, Australia, in three languages offering it both pre-bid and post-bid. So it's a full loop solution. So that Fortune 500 marketers who want to invest more in TikTok, they can rest assured that when their brands run in the live feed of TikTok, it's adjacent to a brand safe, brand suitable uh, content. Right, which is so important these days across the board. Lisa, give us an overview of first quarter earnings. Sure. So we recently reported our Q1 earnings. It's our fourth uh, quarter as a public company. We took the company public uh, at the end of June last year on NASDAQ. And I'm thrilled to say we've had four uh, solid quarters, Q1 being our fourth quarter that we beat guidance. Uh, the tailwinds for our business have been absolutely programmatic. We finally passed that 50% mark. It represents 53% growth year over year. And we're seeing strong adoption for products like context control, helping marketers identify content that they want to avoid and not run their brands adjacent to, and then content that they seek out and want to run adjacent to. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic considering you know the challenging environment that we've been in for the past six months for sure. What about navigating the new frontier of CTV ad fraud? Sure, with connected TV, like similar social platforms, social's a few innings in, but connected TV, it's absolutely the first inning of a long game. Uh, linear uh, marketers who are investing in linear TV, they're looking for alternatives and areas where they can shift their linear TV advertising dollars to connected TV. We were thrilled to announce the acquisition of Publica last year. We acquired the company in August, shortly after going public. And what uh, Publica is, it's a leading video platform. And what it brings to bear is a unified ad auction, integrations with over 35 SSPs, uh, technology like SSAI, which real time can stitch in creative 
within programmatic CTV inventory, but also it gives us massive access to programmatic CTV inventory. And we're very focused on leveraging IES's data, and we process a lot of data every day in Publica's data to help marketers better understand where their ads are running on programmatic CTV and providing the transparency that they're looking for. You know, Lisa, it's so interesting when you think about marketing and communications, the world of advertising, watching it evolve just as every other industry has evolved as we explore new types of media. um, I think it's encouraging that we're hearing more about the importance of brand safety in the age of programmatic advertising. Um, I, I think brands are really concerned with how they're perceived, how they're aligned and and protecting that. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And especially when you think about the last 24 months that we've all lived through together, the pandemic, uh, working from home, doing everything from home, things like adoption of social platforms, users are spending more and more of their time posting content on social platforms, viewing, there's no longer cutting the cord, everything is viewed in stream content. And we're at an all time high of unpredictable user generated content that's being posted every single day. And marketers, they wanna be where the users are, they wanna connect with users, but they wanna rest assured that when they invest in digital advertising, that their iconic Fortune 500 brands run adjacent to brand safe and brand suitable content wherever they're running their digital media across the digital ecosystem. All right, Lisa, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you, Jill, for having me.